Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss what is common method bias. What are the potential sources of common method bias? How can we reduce common method bias issues? And how can we detect if there are any common method bias issues in our research data or not? So, first of all, we will discuss what is common method bias. A common method bias describes the measurement error that is compounded by the sociability of respondents who want to provide positive answers. So, when you ask your respondents to respond on certain questions through which you measure the indicators for measuring overall your latent construct. We often use questionnaires, self-reporting questionnaires, in which the respondents select a most desirable or the most appropriate option to mark on a particular question. So, in general, there is a tendency that the respondent will show biasness towards the rating of indicators or items or questions of your questionnaire. So, a common method bias is a potential bias that the respondent shows when filling your questionnaire or when responding on the questions that you have asked in the questionnaire. So, the common method bias is a concern that mostly arises among researchers who run studies with single source. For example, collecting data, the whole data of all their research from a single source where question, uh, where respondents self-report their impressions or their feelings about the questions that are asked in the questionnaire and when you go for cross-sectional data collection methods. Thus, the common method bias attributes to the measurement method rather than to the construct of the measures that the measures present. Now, what are the potential sources of common method bias? When we confront with common method bias, what are the potential issues or potential sources that lead our research data to common method bias issues? The first and the most critical source that leads to potential common method bias is use of a single common rater. When you fill your questionnaire, when you gather your research data from a single source, bias issue. Second, the potential source of CMB is the sequence and manner of items or questions representation in your questionnaire. In major cases, researchers ask questions in a sequence that they use in their research. For example, they ask questions related to independent variables first, then the mediators and moderators, and after that they ask questions related to their dependent variables at the end of the questionnaire. So, when you ask questions in such a way, it psychologically create 
a sequence for the understanding of the relationships between different constructs and questions. So, when a respondent psychologically build or develop a sequence in the questions asked in the questionnaire, it leads to a potential common method bias issue. The third is like time, it is very important to decide before data collection what is the most appropriate time when you have to ask your questions. What environment should be provided to the respondent to answer the questions in a more scientific, rigorous way? And what medium you are utilizing for the data collection, whether you are collecting data online, face-to-face -face interview, by sending a postal mail to their offices, or any other way. So these are the potential sources that leads to common method bias issues in your data. Now, what are the ways through which we can reduce common method bias? The first is mix sources of information for some key measures. If you use different sources, if you utilize different informant sources, then it will reduce the common method bias issues in your data. For example, you collect data for some of the variables by utilizing primary sources of data collection, by asking respondents, for example, and for some of the variables, you use secondary or other sources of data collection. So it will be a mixed source of data collection. It will reduce the common method bias issues in your data. Second is the order and types of rating scales that you are utilizing in your research question. If you shuffle the order of questions and the order of variables, it will reduce the common method bias issues. For example, one of the best way to reduce CMB is to ask questions related to your dependent variables at first. After that, you use in your data. The third way that can minimize the CMB in your data is the complexity of your research questionnaire which makes respondents unpredictable about the causal relationships between the constructs as expected in the research by placing different breaks, styles and ways of and uh, ways of collecting information from your respondents. The fourth one is uh, you can also uh, look for other contextual arrangements that have an impact on common method bias. For example, the medium. You can utilize different mediums for data collection. For example, you can ask uh, questions through online survey, face-to-face -face survey, through postal mail, so when you mix uh, these uh, mediums for your data collection, it will possibly reduce the common method bias issues related to the medium of data collection. And the time is also very important. If you ask all the questions of your questionnaire on a single time, on a single point, then maybe researchers attention gradually reduced with the time spent on each question. For example, for first 10 to 15 questions, they will pay more attention. After that, they will get boring and uh, maybe not interesting in uh, answering the remaining questions. So they will unintentionally or intentionally rate your questions 
with biasness. So, in order to reduce the common method bias issues, you can break down your questionnaire with respect to time, with respect to by producing some cover stories, etc. in your questionnaire that will minimize the potential influential effect of their biasness towards answering the questionnaires in the later sections as compared to when they answer your top 10 to 5 question. So these were the ways through which you can reduce your common method bias. Now, how we detect common method bias? It is the after data collection phase of your data. When you collect data from your sources, then you have to check that data whether our data is suffering from common method bias issues or not. So, the most important technique that is widely used for detecting the common method bias is Hermann's single factor test. It is a technique to identify the common method bias or variance in your data. Basically, we do this test in exploratory factor analysis in SPSS. In exploratory factor analysis, we choose unrotated solution to detect the total number of factors that are explaining the majority of our data variance. But for common method bias, according to Herman's single factor test, we have to intentionally select a single factor if the single factor represent majority of variance in your data then it will be a potential or substantial amount of common method bias in your data generally if the single factor accounts less than 50 percent of the variance then it is believed that there is no common method bias present in your data. Now we will show how to run Herman single factor test to detect whether our data is suffering from common method bias issues or not. So for so to run the Herman single factor test for common method bias first you have to go to analyze then to dimension reduction because we have to do exploratory factor analysis variable books then select extraction as we are testing for common factor so in this section we have to select fixed number of factors or factors to extract and here we have to add it to one after that click on continue then go to rotation and in rotation because we are using non rotated solution so we have to select non and continue after that click on ok so these are the results for Herman's single factor test if we scroll down to total variance explain here we can see that the total variance explained by the first or one factor is 28.489 which is far below the cut of criteria for common method bias which is 50 percent so we can say that there is no common method bias issue in our data so that was how we can detect or test whether our data is suffering from common method bias or not. That's all. Thank you very much.